Hey guys, it's Wack Tech here. Today I'm going to be building a custom NetHunter image for OnePlus One running Cygen 12. I'm also using Kali Linux 2.0 with the GNOME interface. This method will also work on other Linux distros. This is the easiest way of flashing NetHunter. If you're not comfortable using Linux, there will be other videos using Windows and Mac, so don't freak out. Not to mention the steps might change in the future. I'll do my best to keep you guys updated. Now let's get cracking. The first step is installing Android tools on Kale. Before we do that, we gotta wget some Android rules from GitHub. You can find these commands in the description. I'm gonna start by copying the first command and opening a terminal. Alright, let me move the terminal here so it doesn't mess with the sidebar. Now just right mouse click anywhere on the terminal and choose paste. Alright, that file downloaded, now it's time to chmod that file. Again, copy and right mouse click anywhere on the terminal and paste. And now the next one, just copy and paste the second rule. Once it finishes, copy and paste the second chmod command. Now we need to make dir a hidden Android folder. Now copy and paste into the terminal. Last but not least, let's wget this last command. These rules are needed to recognize Android devices. Alright, once all the rules are downloaded, let's restart the UDEV service. Just copy and paste. Alright, believe it or not, you're ready to install Android tools. It's recommended to install Android tools A to B and Fastboot together. It's going to say I already have these installed, so just give it a second to download and install. Run ADB version to get the current version installed on your machine. Now, before we connect our Android phone, we need to start the daemon service. All you need to do is enter ADB devices to start the background daemon. If you don't see successfully started, type these more abrasive commands. Before we connect our OnePlus One, we need to enable ADB. Start by pressing the menu button and scrolling down until you find settings. Tap settings and go all the way down to the bottom and locate about phone. Again, flick downward until you find the build number. We want to tap the build number five times to become a developer. Press the back button in the upper left and then go down and tap developer options. Inside of developer options, move down until you find ADB debuggy. You want to toggle the little switch and then press OK. Now it's time to plug the phone into the computer running Kali Linux. Once the phone is connected to the computer, an RSA window will pop up. Tap Always Allow from this computer and press OK. Go back to the computer and run ADB Devices to see the connected phone. Once the device is connected, it's time to clone the NetHunter repository. Copy and paste the git clone command into the terminal. I like to keep all my GitHub projects in one folder. You don't have to do this, you can clone the repository in your root home folder. Just copy and paste the git command into the terminal and press enter and wait for it to download. Once the NetHunter project is complete, cd into the NetHunter installer. Before we build our own NetHunter image, we need to run the bootstrap script. The bootstrap script is going to ask us to download experimental branches and the full history of devices. We want to answer no to both of them. Finally, we're ready to build our custom NetHunter image. Since there's a bug with the NetHunter terminal in Marshmallow, I'm going to be building Lollipop. You can build your own version or you can follow me exactly. Paste the Python build script into the terminal. Now we want to switch the tack name Marshmallow for Lollipop. Since I don't want boot animation or wallpaper, I'm going to pass Snowbrand. If you're wondering where I'm getting these commands, the Python build script has a help printout. The Nobrand tack argument is right here, along with the other Android version tack arguments. Alright, let's go back to the terminal and run the build script. Now it's going to download all the NetHunter apps along with the full ch root. Once all the files are done compressing, you can run ls to see the zip file. 
Now let's go back to the GitHub folder and clone the NetHunter toolkit. Scroll down and copy and paste the git command. Go back to the terminal and clone the NetHunter toolkit. Once NetHunter Toolkit's complete, we need to start downloading the SciGen images. The links are currently broken at the moment, so let's open up another tab and search for OnePlus Bacon 12.1 images. Again, you can find these links in the video description. We want to find the forms OnePlus.net mirror article. Scroll down until you see the fast boot images. Since I built a Lollipop NetHunter image, I'm going to download this 12.1 Fastboot image. Once the page is loaded, click Begin Download. Give it a second to search for mirrors and then click Primary Download. The download window will pop up, click on OK to begin. If these mirrors go down in the future, I'll do my best to restore them and leave a link in the description. Close out of this tab and let's go back and click the Twerp device link. Once the site is done loading, search for bacon and click the one plus one link. Scroll down until you see the download link section. Click on Primary Americans. Now it's recommended to always download the newest version of Twerp. Click the download link and wait for the window to pop up. Just click Save File. All right, now we need to download Super SU from Chainfire. Search for Chainfire and look for the EU link. It's a good idea to check Chainfire's website for updates time to time. Now let's scroll down and find the newest version of Super SU. Click the Google Plus link and locate the flashable zip file. The familiar download page will load. Just locate the download link and click it. After everything is downloaded, you're ready to flash. Again, you can find these links in the video description. And I'll update my website links too. Let me download everything and stop the video. Once everything is complete, it's time to transfer the files to our device. Open downloads along with your NetHunter toolkit folder. Now drag and drop each file in the correlating folders. Once you're done transferring the files, go back to the NetHunter repository and look for the zip file we previously built. Just copy the NetHunter image and go back to the toolkit. Back inside the toolkit, paste the NetHunter image into the folder. Now the NetHunter toolkit is ready to run. If your device isn't unlocked yet or you're not sure, run the OEM unlock script. Sadly, this will restore your phone back to factory settings. You'll have to enable developer options again, along with the RSA key. Since my device has already been unlocked, I'm skipping this step. The first step is restoring the phone back to factory settings. I have the 64GB model, so I'm passing the 64GB argument. If your OnePlus One has a white backing, make sure you replace 64 with 32. After you run the command, you have 15 seconds to abort it. This will take some time. It will reboot into the bootloader by itself.
After it's complete, the device should reboot on its own. Give it additional time to start because we just restored back to factory settings. Copy the flash script and I'm going to close out of this browser. Paste the command into the terminal, but don't press enter. Again, give the phone time to boot and optimize the apps. I'm going to select English in my Wi-Fi router. I'm entering my password and connecting. I'm going to skip the SIM card. Skip the tap and go. I'm gonna skip the Google login page. Skip, come on, skip. Skip, skip anyway. Uncheck help improve SciGen OS. Tap next and uncheck application. Click start and wait for the bubble pop up. Before we run the twerp flash script, we need to enable ADB debugging again. Open the menu again, flick down until you see settings, tap it. Once inside of settings, go all the way down to the bottom, find about phone, tap it. Find the build number, tap it five times to become a developer. Tap the back button, look for developer options, go inside, scroll down until you find ADB debugging, enable it. The RSA window will open, tap always allow, then tap OK. Go back to the terminal and run the twerp flash script. Now it's going to check if the files exist and then push all the files to our device. Once the transfer is complete, the phone will reboot into the bootloader and flash twerp. Once twerp is done flashing, slide to allow modifications. Go back to the terminal and press any key to continue. I'm just going to hit the space bar. Now it's going to flash Super SU and NetHunter. Extracting the Kali root FS will take the longest. Just be patient and NetHunter will automatically reboot. At this point we're done with the terminal so we can close this out. We can just run the exit command. Alright, everything is installed but we're not done yet. We still need to open the NetHunter app once everything is loaded. So give a second for your phone to boot and optimize the apps. You can unplug your device at this point, but I'm going to keep mine plugged so it can charge. Now unlock the phone and open up the menu and scroll down until you find the NetHunter app. Give it a minute to launch and a super user window will pop up. Click Grant. Now the NetHunter app is complete, let's enable the hacker keyboard. Go back to the menu and locate the hacker's keyboard app. Tap it. Tap enable keyboard and then toggle the switch and then press OK. Next time you type something and the keyboard pops up, you will have to enable the hacker's keyboard. We're finally done, NetHunter successfully flashed. If something went wrong, please leave me a comment. I do plan to make more Kali NetHunter video tutorials in the future. I'm also going to get back into making more Cody videos, so subscribe and like.